BCS here, and today I have a game of Domination on Subbase. And just to let you know, this is loading forever. And to get the sync audio, the game is starting now. No. Now. Alright. So I'm running the FAMOS with Slider Hand Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and Ninja Pro. And the FAMOS has a red dot set on it. And I'm using stuns and claymores. And I'm playing a full party today. Uh, so yeah. I met them on the Shrine Game Attacks website, so, yeah, alright, so we're trying to secure B, kind of initiate a spawn trap in at C, so I plant Claymore there to make sure they can't go there, and I have teammates running up in here, and I rush up in here, and I hop on top of this torpedo, if you haven't known already, and I know they're going to try and plant it at, or I mean, not plant it, sorry, and uh, cap C, so I decide to just sit here, FAMOS them a little bit, get two kills, and decide to retreat, but get killed. And that's always a good thing to do if you're in a firefight, and people are shooting at you, and you're shooting at them, and you're running along, don't turn around and try and shoot them. Just keep on running and establish ground, and wait for them to come to you, because most of the time they're not going to know where you are. Or you're gonna um, have the upper hand on them because you can hear them with uh, headsets. Uh, if you want to know, the headset I'm using is the Turtle Beach X11. Um, and it's a really good headset. I like it a lot. And I'm using it right now to record this commentary. <coughs> so, uh, switch classes are. I think I switched classes. I might have uh, picked up. Uh, nope, I switched classes uh, to my UMP just to run around and be silent, and sneak around in their spawn. But I decided to pick up the. Uh, uh, I mean, switch classes back to the FAMAS because I think that's like uh, that's my number one preferred assault rifle, other than the Tar 21 and the ACR and the AK. So those are my four. So yeah. And I'm not 10th Prestige, just want to throw this out here. So if any of y'all can hook me up with a free 10th Prestige lobby, that'd be great. I'll put you in my cool box. I'll let you have a commentary on my channel if you want, or do a commentary. Now that right there is a key part to the future of the game. I'm going to come up here, get from my, my FAMAS, and just rain down on them. I think I, I get an AC-130 off them, or I might get the Harrier off them, and then let the Harrier do the rest of the work but one kill, because... Uh, it's not seeming to get any more. That's the thing with the Harrier that I don't really like. Is that after you get about five kills, it'll stop. And it'll just shoot at the ground. Okay, I don't know why I missed that guy. Shot him. I was waiting for him to respond. I think. But I heard that guy up there. So I decided to run up here. And I'm like, alright, that guy I can easily shoot from here. So you can't see it because I don't have an HEP VR. But I go prone, try and get some kills in here. And, uh, so I go, decided to go back and, uh, retreat, because I know that they're going to try and force B again. See that attack insertion, and I decided to let it go, because I'm going to wait till it, okay, uh, respond to get killed. But, apparently, he's taking forever to respond. So I just decided to let him go. Um, yeah. So, I get killed there, I think, I know, I'm not sure what my score is. I think I... Uh, and then I decided to get out my anti-air class, which is an FAL with a red dot, and Sleight of Hand Pro, Cold-Blooded, and Ninja, and Stinger as a secondary to take uh, air support out. I think I switched because there's some air support up. And so I'm just decide I'm like trying to go get as many kills as I can with the ammo that I have left. And I think in this part of the video, I get shot by that guy. Or one guy that's sitting on top of something. Or I end up getting toward, uh, getting enough kill streaks from my AC-130. And I think that's what happens here. So I call him a predator. Uh, I think I get two kills off of it. Uh, yep. I got two. Uh, tr th three kills. I got a triple kill. So I need one more kill till, um I get my AC-130. So I, 
my hair doesn't do anything. So I decided to switch, go to my FAMAS, and uh, just kind of toggle in between and out of that doorway. And you may think that doorways are really a safe place to be, but if you're not in and out of them and moving in a moving target and uh, kind of just moving in and out of cover and stuff, you can get taken down really, really easily. So I'm just camping it out, trying to see if my hair is going to get kills, but it doesn't get any more after it gets four kills. So I'm just busy switching in between my M1014 and my FAMAS. And I end up seeing that guy, he shoots me once, but I get the one hit kill and decide to retreat to call back, call the, sorry, call in my AC-130. Now, there wasn't really a good place to call cover, so I decided to just go in this corner and call it in. And I end up racking in uh, a little bit of kills until they start camping in that building. And apparently, even though I'm shooting through that glass and through that open doorway, I'm not getting any kills, which is really, really stupid. So, I'm um, waiting. I hate the Ace-130 kind of in a way that you, it takes forever to reload. But the chopper gunner, you have to individually fire on people, and it takes a lot longer. And if you haven't noticed already, this is a, I think, maybe, yep, yeah, it's a team tactical. Uh, Alright, so there goes my Ace-130. I picked up maybe four kills off that too. So I think I have a 16 or 17 streak right now. And I haven't ever gotten... Alright, so I'm 22, 2, and 5. Which is pretty good. It's not that good. I think I end up finishing with 8 deaths. And I think... I don't know how many kills. I think the game's just about wrapping up. In like a few minutes or so. So, uh... I'll just kind of let the gameplay go, and if I see anything really that I need to commentate on, I will commentate it. But right here, real fast, is a really good spot if you can get behind those and co get in cover so they can only see one side of your body. So you can um, shoot from only one side. And that's a really good way to uh, cover one side and keep them from hitting you. So I pick up this WA-2000 because I ran out of ammo. And I see this guy's trying to shoot some air support, so I just give him a couple M10s in the face. Pick his MG4 up, which I suck with. Start reloading. And get, uh, I think, killed from behind right about now. Nope. I think I go back and I uh, get killed, maybe. But I pick up this person's M uh, G18. Yeah, I do get killed right here by... I think some guy that comes out of the spawn. Or I get killed when I run back around. Yep, that that's why I was remembering the future. Alright, so I'm running around here. Trying to uh, not get killed, but I get killed. So I accidentally forgot to switch back from my anti-air. But I'm a beast with the FAL. And I guess I didn't have the red dot on this one, so I decided to use that as my anti-air. Just in case I need to take down a couple more things with a grenade launcher. But I get killed, so uh whip out the FAMAS. And I had a kind of a bad spree right there. But I end up killing this guy. Because he's completely oblivious to where I am. And I sprint up here. And boom. He's out. Um, probably my favorite shotgun secondary is the M1014 extended mags or the AA-12 extended mags so uh, I'm camping up here trying to get as many kills as possible for the end of the game because I think the game is winding up here in about a uh, few points couple of seconds couple like like 20 seconds I think so uh, yep there's the end of the game I end up going 26 2 and 8 thanks to Pyro Eclipse my swag and oops you you died um yeah i met them through sharing gamer tags so if you want to be their friend message me first of course and become my friend and i'll let you know so also pyro's uh host connection was what really helped me thanks